Welcome to the brand new Indiana Corn and Soybean Innovation Center. Uh, my name is Eli Hudges, and I'm a senior majoring in plant, cellular, and molecular biology uh, with a minor in international studies in the amazing College of Agriculture. And so people often ask me uh, how I got into agriculture, and I often tell my story of growing up in the suburbs of Maryland, uh, where I used to help my parents uh, and my great aunt in her backyard garden. Uh, and so uh, over time, uh, I was used to growing plants and just planting a seed, like a tomato seed or something like that, and it was often like magic, where I would plant the seed in this ground and then just magically, poof, this amazing plant would grow and vegetables, and I was like, oh, so good, yes. Uh, but then one year, uh, my parents just kind of got tired of it, so I decided to take it over because I, I really love the magic of it. Uh, and so I decided one year to grow butternut squash. And so having that kind of magic realization of plant science, I was like, oh, okay, I'll plant this seed and I'll just get this wonderful plant. And so I planted the seed, got this amazing plant, amazing vine, but sadly I wasn't getting any butternut squash. And I was like, oh, what is going on? I'm used to being able to see these things and just magically happening. Uh, and so when I was like 13 or 14, I decided to research and look it up, and I found that uh, the butternut squash had male and female flowers. And uh, when I found that out, I was like, okay, I got so excited. I was like, mom and dad drew out a diagram and everything. And I was like, mom, this is how you do it. We need to do this. this we have pollinators. We got to do this. I can do it. All right. And so I took out a Q-tip and I just planted, uh, pollinated the uh, female flowers of it and ended up getting like two to three, five to seven pound squash. And they tasted amazing. So I was like, oh, this is amazing. I got to do this. Uh, and so now I, I love plant science and I love everything about it. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you. And so I never expected my newfound love for plant science to lead me to Purdue University. Uh, so I was an aspiring Peace Corps volunteer uh, interested in studying plant sciences with a passion for helping developing world, uh, developing countries with food security. And so knowing this, one of my high school teachers, music teachers, recommended that I should check out Purdue University. And uh, even after uh, committing to Purdue, little did I know that I would experience opportunities of a lifetime. And so coming in as a freshman, I would tell people about uh, my different career aspirations and different things like that and what I want to do and how I want to work with developing world agriculture. And uh, people would often say, okay, you need to go see Dr. Kabiza Jada. He's a man, you need to go see him, go see him, go see him. And I was like, okay, who's this? Uh, <laughs> and so if you don't know, Dr. Kabiza Jada uh, won the World Food Prize back in 2009 for his work with sorghum hybrids and its great contributions to Sub-Saharan Africa. And so his contributions to international agriculture are along the same lines of things that I want to do personally in my future career. And so I emailed him and stopped by his office one day and talked with him. And after a series of events, we randomly saw each other at another job I had. And I asked him if he had any positions open in his lab. And he said, I'll make a position for you. So following semester, I was working in his lab. Uh, and so it has been an honor and a great opportunity to work in his lab. And I'm thankful for this experience and many other uh, experiences that I've had here at Purdue University. And all these uh, opportunities have honestly just been a dream that is still coming true today. Uh, and I know that my fellow students in agriculture share in the pride and gratitude for our excellent educational opportunities, and I'm very thankful for it. So thank you guys. Thank you.